As we reflect on this Good Friday, I would like us to consider who is the real Jesus that we worship. You see, if we look back one week ago in the Passion story, when the triumphal entry occurs, people are praising God and singing, Hosanna. They're putting their cloaks on the ground and worship for their king. Yet, less than a week later, they are crying, crucify him. And we look at that, and I often wonder, how is it possible? How is it possible for people to make such a con- such contrasting statements in less than a week? And you know, it might be hard for us to put ourselves in that same position. But I would like to propose to you that we often do something not quite so blatant, but just as destructive. And what we often do, I believe, is instead of saying crucify him, we replace him. Instead of worshiping the true Jesus, we worship sometimes perhaps the Santa Jesus. The Jesus that that gives us what we want. The Jesus that uh, answers all of our prayers the way that we want him to. The Jesus that just wants us to be happy with whatever choices and decisions and desires that we have. Perhaps we worship the rock rock star Jesus. Perhaps we worship a Jesus that um, lets us uh, go to churches that just have just the right programs that entertain us the way that we want to be entertained. Perhaps have just the right worship styles. Perhaps um, just have just the right kind of cool people. Or the right mix of things that meet our needs, that entertain us, that that fill whatever desires that we feel that we need to be served with at a church. Or perhaps it's just even more generic than that, and we worship the, the generic plastic Jesus, that we are able to mold into whatever shape that we want him or feel that we need him to be. In whatever life circumstances we find ourselves in, we are able to make Jesus what we want him to be so that the answers that we get are what we want them to be, so that we marry the person that we want to, so that we take the job that we want to, we buy the car that we want to, perhaps even we divorce the spouse that we feel we need to divorce. Perhaps uh, we make other choices in our lives simply based on our desires that we conform our Jesus to, to justify what we want. As we reflect on this Good Friday and as we transition into the worship and the praise for the resurrection of Jesus on Sunday, and as we enter into that jubilant worship, let us consider ourselves, what kind of a Jesus are we worshiping? Are we worshiping the true Jesus that calls us to live a radically different life of self-sacrifice? Are we choosing to worship the true Jesus of the Bible? tells us to take up our cross daily and follow him, who tells us to obey his commands, or are we worshiping a Jesus that lets us conform to our own desires and wishes? Let us be introspective, look at ourselves, and consider who is the real Jesus that we worship. Do we worship the real Jesus, or do we worship some self-made image of a Jesus that we would rather serve? that often looks a lot more like ourselves. So I challenge you, this weekend, as you enjoy time with friends, family, other church members, and as you worship, consider who is it that you are truly worshiping? Who is it that you are truly serving? May we together choose to serve. May God help us know who we are really serving, and may we serve the true, King of Kings, the true Lord Jesus.